Hi Rico, Oceana here with G3 Agency with your free website audit for Hawkscapes in Atlanta, Georgia. In this free SEO website audit provided by G3 Agency, I'm going to show you three to four things that you can do to get Hawkscapes in front of the people who are searching for paver and returning uh, retaining wall services, pardon, in the Atlanta metro area. Like I said on the phone, I don't expect anything in return for this video, but I would love some feedback from you about whether it was helpful and whether it was clear enough that you can actually take action on it um, and to do something with it if you choose to do so. Um, and of course, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, this is something that I do professionally, so you can think of this as a, a business card with some oomph. <laughs> uh, where I actually try to help you for free first and then um, of course if you want to talk further please reach out um, okay so the first thing that I always look for when I do an audit of a website is a big click to call phone number somewhere near the top around here now, you don't have a phone number here um, you've got it here which is good and it is click to call I would leave it here, but I would add one as well up here, especially one that's a sticky, you know, you've got this what's called a sticky bar up here, meaning that it, it comes with you all the way down the page. It doesn't disappear. That is perfect. You just want to add that phone number to this area up here as well, because 70% almost of the people who are going to be on your site are going to be on their mobile phone, and that's going to help kind of make that transition it's you know makes it really easy for them on their phone to just click that number and it pulls up their phone app automatically and boom they've got you on the phone and that just makes it a lot easier to go from curious to customer okay this next thing I want to cover on your home page is content content is basically the words on the page so if I click control a oh, maybe I have to do it again you can see all this stuff lights up, including the images. Images are part of the content as well. So you want at least 3,000 words on your home page and um, 1,500 or more on your other pages. On your home page, you currently have 155 words. You're really going to want to increase that. Google basically sees content as king. Um, more content, and as long as it's more words that are relevant to what you're doing and talk about, you know your process and your materials and um, costs and all those kinds of things that people are curious about that's gonna help um, that's gonna help you sorry about that <laughs> that's gonna help you show up in front of people looking for your services right uh, it's gonna show Google that you are uh, knowledgeable about your subject at hand and that you are the person to show uh, when people are searching for your types of business right so and then we also have, um, if I right click on an image and click save image as, I can see that this image was saved as this uh, RS equals W, blah, blah, blah. It's not helpful. What you want to do is you actually want to save all these images again, but this time save them as, um, as key phrases that people are actually typing into Google each month when they're looking for your services and they're in the Atlanta area. So, and I'll show you what, um, how to find those and what um what keywords people are actually using but first i'm going to introduce you to the tool i'll be using this is called arifs or ahrefs there are many ways to pronounce it um, but uh, what it does is it gives us an in-depth look into how a website's performing because it's one thing for it to look nice like i was saying when we were on the phone um, it's one thing for it to look nice which yours absolutely does it's a beautiful site um, but it's another for it to actually function as a lead generation machine right so this gives us an in-depth look into how it's performing and it's not i can tell you by those <laughs> those numbers right here are kind of pathetic so let's talk about how we can get that to increase uh so your urdr scores are basically um it's how trustworthy does google think that your web page is just this exact one so your home page in this case and then your entire website as a whole for your dr score and you want them to be about even and you want them to be higher than this these are low scores but typical for when i'm doing these first audits for people um and you've got backlinks and referring domains. So this is how we raise this score along with, you know, the content and the images like I was talking about. This is another tool we have in our toolbox, right? So a backlink is any link from any other website on the internet that goes back to your website. Uh, a referring domain is a website that has at least one of those links on there. So you've got eight different websites with a total of 19 backlinks coming to your site from those websites. Um, that's good. 
that's a good start, you want to increase that score. Be careful as you're increasing it though, that you're going and getting um, referring domains that are uh, that have high DR scores. That's gonna help to bring your score up. Um, and that they're also relevant to your industry, right? You don't want just some random restaurant on the other side of the world to be pointing to your site because that doesn't really help your, um, it doesn't really help. <laughs> it's not relevant, right? So you want relevant and high scoring referring domains. And then we've got organic keywords and organic traffic. Um, that's basically how many words could a person type into Google and have you come up in the first hundred uh, results. Unfortunately, being result number 11 is just about as bad as not existing at all because most people don't go past the first page before either finding what they want um, or uh, either, sorry, either finding a result that works for them or just giving up and, and searching for something else or going back to their busy lives. So um, we really want to be on that first page with those top 10 results. Okay, so here are those magical keywords I talked about. So I used Arifs, I went to Keyword Explorer, I typed in all these different areas you use uh, that are in your area and basically found um, anything that includes paver, pavers, retaining, driveway, those kinds of words, and this is what it came up with for me. Uh, pavers Atlanta is a really good one. So it's got, I want you to pay attention to these key factors. It's got pavers Atlanta, so it's got something that you do and an area that you do it in, uh, which is very important. Otherwise, if it didn't have an area that you're in, that would be called a national keyword. This is a local keyword. National keywords are going to be harder to rank for, and they also aren't as helpful because you don't know that a person typing that in is going to be in your area. So this is really good. It's got you know your area and something you do. Um, then we look at this volume here. This is how many people on average are typing it into Google each month. So 250 people on average each, each month are typing Pavers Atlanta into Google. And then KD stands for keyword difficulty. This is basically on a scale from zero to 100. How difficult does Google, or sorry, how difficult does this tool, Arifs, think it would be to get to the first page of Google? And you would think that six out of 100, that must be like a cakewalk, right? Well, eh, unfortunately, it's not quite that easy. Even a keyword difficulty of zero won't happen overnight, but that does show that with the amount of effort, the right amount of you know work that goes into ranking for something like this with the content and backlinks and all that kind of stuff that it is absolutely possible it's within reach and I think that this would not be difficult for you um, it would just take a bit of time so then we have these other ones down here and you're welcome to pause the video take a look at these um, and see which ones are good for you but you want you know you want something you do some place that you do it uh, and low KD and high volume that's what we're looking for um, so if I type this first one, and you would do this which, with each of these keywords you want to go for, right? But if I type that Pavers Atlanta into Google, this is what I get. First are the ads. Most people skip right past them anyway. And then we have the map pack, and that's spelled M-A-P-P-A-C-K. And it is um, the top three results from the maps results. So that was kind of a confusing way to put it, but basically how you get up into this area is with citations. So what you want to do is you look up your own name and maybe your phone number if your name isn't enough to find yourself in, on Google and it'll show up uh, your GMB or Google My Business listing will show up on this side of the screen on, on a desktop. <clears throat> Pardon me. And um, so you want to make sure that your name, address, and phone number are exactly spelled just the way that you like it, just the way that it's correct, uh, your name, address, and phone number, and then you're going to take that same information and add it to different directories across the internet. Directories are websites like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, Yellow Pages. Um, basically there are tons that are free there are also many that will try to charge you money i would say go after the free ones if you find if you think that it would be worth it to go after one of the paid ones go ahead but there are so many free ones out there um that you know it it, it makes sense to to go after those first 
Okay, so and if you get enough basically citations, that'll help you to basically show Google that people are talking about you, you're popular, that you really do exist and you really are in this area so that um, so that you'll show up in the top three here. And if you show up in the top three, you're on the home page. I mean, on the first page of Google, and that is a really good place to be. That'll increase your traffic for sure. Okay. And then we have this. So this is the coveted um, first position. Um, this is a really good uh, spot to be in. The, the result that shows up in the first place, uh, the first organic result here, will statistically get about 30%. So I think that turns out to be about 70, 75-ish. I don't remember exactly. Um, out of the 250. Not great with mental math, but it's somewhere around 75 or so. Um, we'll be going to this site right here. So what we want to do is actually compare you to that site and think, hmm, what is it that they're doing right that they show up on the first page? What is it that we can do better than them so we show up ahead of them? <laughs> so um, we're going to look at this. I can see they have Atlanta Pavers as their, their title here. Then they have Stone Pavers, Alpharetta, Georgia. This looks like they've done a bit of keyword research, so that's going to put them ahead there. Um, but they don't have that much content. I mean, that's the end. It's definitely not that 3,000 minimum that we were talking about. Um, and, then, uh, and then we have... If we right click on their images, we can see whether or not they're taking advantage of saving their images properly and they are not. So that's another way that we can get ahead. And if we go to um, Arifs and we put them in there, we can see now why they're getting ahead. So you can see that their UR score is similar to yours, but their DR score is a bit higher. Um, and they don't have that many backlinks and referring domains coming to this exact page. Mind you, this is a, um, a back page of theirs, not their home page. Uh, so uh, it, there are some differences there. But you definitely want to increase the DR score of yours and then increase the content and, and save those images properly. And that just might be enough uh, to get you ahead there. But um, so that's pretty cool. You can kind of go in there and check that out. And then if I click on this here, organic keywords, I can see what keywords they're showing up for and what position they're in. So let's see, Pavers Atlanta, there's that one we were going after, uh, 250, and it looks like they were recently only, on, they were in the second position and they've actually gone up since then. Um, but uh, you can see they were getting, in the second position, they were getting 38 uh, visitors. And I expect that would be a bit higher now, but this, this hasn't updated. And then we have Brick Pavers Atlanta here. 150 people are typing that in. It's got a keyword difficulty of seven, which is still within, you know, within reach. Um, and they're in the first position, they're getting 59 traffic. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you can see how it kind of starts adding up with these different keywords. And you know, each of those people coming to your site is a certain amount of uh, ready to buy, right? So you're gonna get certain people that are gonna come to your site and just be ready to pick up the phone and call you right then. Um, and that's where you're gonna make your money. <laughs> okay, so um, this is my information to get a hold of me. I hope that this information was helpful. I try, I always try to talk really fast because I wanna get all this information in there and I figure you can always rewind it if you need to hear it again. <laughs> so um, this is my phone number and my email address to get a hold of me. Make sure to increase the amount of words on your homepage, 3,000 or more minimum on the homepage, 1,500 or more on the other pages. That's really gonna put you ahead of the competition when it comes to content. And then you wanna implement those backlinks to rank for high volume keywords, like for instance, Pavers Atlanta, and then um, add citations to your, your uh, directories across the internet, specifically with your name, address, and phone number listed exactly the same way they're listed on your Google My Business or GMB listing. That's going to help you show up on that map, and that's really going to increase the amount of people coming to your website as well. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it, and I look forward to hearing from you uh, whether this was helpful and clear. All right. Uh, bye. <laughs>